Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to XCOM The Long War Beta 14. Let's jump back in, spin the globe, and see if we can come up with a mission, because we're not quite ready to jump on the alien base. We are still going to do it this month. Uh, again, I just want to get some of this other equipment out. So in 10 days, we'll have the Seraph armor. Uh, we'll also have the recoilless rifle built. We'll have another pulse lance. That reminds me, I, I need to build another set of armor. How much is this costing me now? Like just regular like Aegis armor or something. 164 bucks. Uh, okay. Let me sell some things here real quick. You know what? I can sell some weapon fragments. Sure, why not? Get a ton of them and I have a ton of them, so... I think that's enough, wasn't it? Oh, here. Sell a couple of those. Yeah, it was enough. Alright, so let's get another armor cooking. Side training almost done. Let's hope that it's successful. Success on Jack! Nice! Okay, now, do we want to put anyone else in side training? That's... Hmm. We could put Geronimo in side training, I guess. So we got Jack out. Did I panic? Alright. And Christopher? Yes? I don't know that I really care, actually. He has any more Psy powers. Uh, hmm. No, I really don't, actually. Is there anyone else? Oh, Zhang, what can you train, buddy? Okay, let's train you. That makes sense. All right. Okay, Headhunter's back. Sergei's back. Wu's back, all right. And still repairing for three days. But it's a destroyer, so... I guess on defensive? We're in pursuit. Approaching target now. Taking heavy fire! Oh, okay. Leave. Yeah, they... <laughs> the regular interceptors are pretty much just worthless fodder at this point. Ah, uh, well, that's it for that. Maybe we discouraged him. Small scout, okay. Now this is a different deal here. Aggressive. Uh huh. We have eyes on the bandit. Nearing strike range. Oh, a crash site. Great. Okay. Well, let me put a team together and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's take a look at the team I put together. Starting off here on the left, we have Josh Elite Carter. Mech 2 Defender, Laser Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Alloy Belt, and Weapon Gyro. Next to him, we have our Valkyrie Mech Firefly, Mech 2 Defender, Laser Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower, Alloy Belt, and Hollow Targeter. We're bringing Polaris as our Jaeger Mech. 
Mech 1 Defender, Pulse Lance, Flamethrower, Battle Computer, and Auto Loader for the extra shots. Kerrigan's coming as our officer and infantry person for this one. Titan Armor, Pulse Rifle, Laser Pistol, Illuminator Gun Side, High Capacity Mags, and Scope. Yes, she does have lock and load, but high capacity mags does stack, so you will get an additional shot, so it's useful to have, I think. Headhunter. It's coming as our sniper. He's in the zone, so he's a proper in the zone sniper, our first one. Carapace armor, pulse sniper rifle, laser pistol, battle scanner, a spear med kit, and a scope. Rhino's coming as our gunner. Aegis armor. Pulse Auto Blaster, a Smart Gun Kit, Armor Piercing Ammo, and a Scope. Christine Davis is coming as our Engineer. Aegis Armor, a Pulse Rifle, Laser Pistol, uh, two Alien Grenades, a Kim Grenade, and a Ghost Grenade. And then last but not least, our Medic. Maria, aka Gypsy, Carapace Armor, Pulse Rifle, Ghost Grenade, and two sets of Med Kits. Should be enough for a small crash site. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Crash site. Strike one. Prepare. The drop site for this operation. Oh, it's the farm. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. So, I like the farm. I do. Like I think it's a cool map. We have to move to secure the area. The only thing about the farm, the only thing about the farm I'm not wild about is that when you get to the UFO, which is in like the back corner down from the, the farm, the problem is that because of the different like elevations, there's like several different, and XCOM just doesn't, uh, or the Unreal Engine that it was built on just doesn't seem to handle that too well, so it gets kind of glitchy sometimes. Otherwise, I like the map. I mean, I think it's cool. There's, there's lots of, well, at least on the top part, there's lots of cover and that's an interesting looking map. All right, let's uh, let's see. Josh, go ahead and move up. Okay, Firefly. Okay, Polaris, you can come hang out on this side. Here we go. Let's put sniper over here. Gunner can go to oh no, that's the engineer. That's fine. That's a decent spot for her. Gunner can hang out right there. Maria. Uh the medic. You know what? You can hang out right back here. That's just fine. And Overwatch. We'll do one more turn of Overwatch. Yep. Because a lot of times they'll patrol right up on you. So we could get a free round of fire. And I'm pretty sure I'm hearing mechtoids. So, let's see if we can't draw the, draw them into us. Uh, and I just heard a cyber disc. Lovely. And it's saying that the closest group is here. Let's go take a closer look. Come here, Josh. Go forward and take a look. All right, well, I guess we'll get set up to fight something coming from that direction, then. We can use this little shack over here and set up if we want. And I think we probably will. We locate the sniper. Blaris. up a little bit. Firefly, you move up a little bit. Oh, wow, they were really close. Okay, all right. That's not a problem. We'll just move back. 
Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll take a shot first. Right there. Hi. 19 crit. Oh, hoo -hoo. that was nice, huh? Puts down crazy damage. Uh, oh, we can't back up. Great. At least not with the mech, but that's okay. Let's, um... I'm on it, Commander. Move up over here with Josh. Okay, let's see. Vampire can go here. Yep. And Overwatch. I might use a ghost grenade right here, actually. Just to avoid the damage. Actually, come over here. Or some smoke? Yeah, let's use some smoke. Like... So? Oh, I hope it gets her too. Looks like it did. Yeah. Okay, and then... Let's move forward. I'm not going to get a Kim grenade on him this turn. Now, out of range. Okay, so we'll hunker down. Should be okay. <laughs> Can you feel my confidence? I'm like, yeah, it'll be all right. No big deal. All right, stupid drones. How many were there? Because if there was like three or four, they're going to fully repair that thing. Oh, yeah, that's two. It's moments like this when you kind of wish you had a Rocketeer with you. It's just nice for clearing out stuff like that. Hello! Throwing a grenade? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Alright. Okay, all things considered, that wasn't too bad. Two damage, four damage. Oh, a Seeker, hi! What are you gonna do? Grab the sniper? Yeah. Alright. Scumbag seeker. Oh, another one. Get him, Kerrigan. Three, really? Three damage? I know it has high DR, but you have like all kinds of crit chance and stuff. Alright. Yeah, take care of that thing. Or miss. Sure. How about the 99% chance? There we go. Uh, wait, that thing's... Will I get in the zone? No, yeah, I will. Because that thing's, like, actually just sitting there. It's not flying. Yep. See if somebody else can take care of that one. Three damage, huh? Wow. Okay. Okay, that wasn't horrible. I wish she wasn't debuffed. I'd go up there and... Hmm. Let's go get up there with Josh. How you doing? I was gonna say, I hope that... I, I wish the engineer wasn't debuffed from the strangulation. I would have gone up and tried to put a Kim grenade on that thing to soften it up, but... Whatever. Okay, get rid of this thing. There we go. Nice! She's so badass. Seriously, if you're not a fan of Jaeger Max, something's wrong with you. I mean, really, seriously, so awesome. 
Okay, I guess we'll dash up here with the gunner. What does she have? Shredder? I think she's a shred. Yeah, she's a shredder gunner, but that's okay. Yep. And steady weapon. And uh, I could move, right? And fire. No, I'm debuffed. Okay. Well, then we'll just steady weapon. So what do we got? We got the cyber disc left and one drone. And the drone might be able to close distance to repair, but we're all right. We're putting in decent damage on that cyber disc. And I'm kind of hoping the cyber disc just fires on Josh. Yeah, I hope he fires. That's why I put him close instead of throwing a grenade. Mm, two damage. Yeah, definitely need to get some rail guns for the mechs. That was a good suggestion that I got recently. Do not kill her. Or miss, that's even better. Oh, I should shred it. Where's the... Come here, gunner. Get over here. Yeah, there we go. And missed, but we did put hollow targeting on it, so I guess it's better than nothing. Eight crit. That was a nice hit. And actually, I think we need to move away. We do need to move away. Okay. That thing's going to fall down and explode and do damage. Yep. Six crit, nice. Uh, pretty much everyone here still needs XP too, so doesn't matter a whole lot who gets the kill. Reloaded. Maybe the medic. Nice, seven crit. Hey, here we go. All right, reload here. Nice! <laughs> and reload. Mm -hmm. Need to do some heals though, because the engineer got lit up. I think that's it though, right? You're the only one that got hurt? Yeah, well, no, the sniper got hurt a little bit too. Three damage? Ah, uh, he can heal himself. Just in case. Okay, and then Gypsy can come over here. Toss her a heal. Better. And then go ahead and reload. Let's move Vampire over here. Set Overwatch. Valeris. You move across. Overwatch. Gunner can hang out right there. Reload. And Firefly can move up. So the suggestion of railguns for mechs, um, they do the same damage. I had forgotten about this, but they do the same damage as pulse level weaponry, um, and you can carry more shots. And they're also better in terms of DR. On the move. But I don't think they have... I don't think they provide heat like other Goss weapons do. Pretty sure they don't. But for mechs that I have that ha you know can fire multiple shots, it's not a bad idea at all to have some. Okay, let's see. You can go take that corner. And Medic. Well, actually, let's move Polaris up just a little bit. When you have a, kind of a squishy mech, again, I've, I've said this a couple times, your best, your best bet is to always have at least one mech a few tiles ahead of them. 
And since you do have plus, plus five tile range from limited squad sight, there's no reason not to always have something else a little bit forward of a squishier mech. That way, you don't have to worry so much about them getting shot at. I want to move forward with her. Nope, I think we'll just overwatch. There's actually a build uh, for a Valkyrie that is very heavy on the whole Daka Daka and not very tanky. And I kind of wish I had built Firefly that way and will probably do that in the future. Well, I say in the future, but... You know, I, I, I don't know. Some of the beta 15 changes, uh, it's really tough to say what I'm going to do. Mechs are being changed significantly. And I really like mechs, but uh, the metagame appears to be shifting away from them. Or, I don't know, the more I read, the more I think it's not so much shifting away from the use of mechs, but that you may not just, you may not be able to have, you know, two or three mechs on a, on a run. You know, maybe you're going to have... Uh, two mechs at most, and they're going to have very specialized roles. Like, you definitely will have a mech that's for the purposes of tanking, and then you'll have a mech that's maybe for flanking and sort of in-the-zone type action. Alright, let's move up. Oh, it is a sectopod. Okay, hi. Well, this mission's been interesting for, uh, Crash site. Okay, we're gonna pull back. Yeah, we'll take the overwatch, that's fine. We gotta go, we can't hang out up there. Second one? Yeah, I kinda figured that second one would hit. It's okay, she can take it. I think she's, yeah, she even has repair servo, so that's fine. Okay, so, Josh, you can take a shot, probably, and just stay up there. You're in a decent position. Okay, does anyone else have range? Yep, okay. Take this shot here. Hollow targeting's up. Mm-hmm. Let's move up with the engineer a little bit. Oh, miss, okay. All right, good hit. All right, one down. Uh, hmm. Once the sectopod gets up here, we're going to have to do some, uh, Ghost Grenade action. And Sectopod's gonna be fun with its DR. Actually, we'll move over here. Set Overwatch, and actually we will bring Josh back. I don't need to leave him up there. We'll put him... Right back here. And let the sectipod come forward. And the drones. Yeah, take care of them too. Seven damage. Good hit. Second shot. Nice. Good job. What are you doing, silly drone? Uh, okay. So it's like the pod moving. What's the deal here? Yeah, let's pop this thing and reload. Okay, steady weapon. 
I need the gunner up here. I also need the gunner to have decent cover. Alright, let's do this. Let's put Sarah right there on Overwatch. Let's bring the engineer over here. If the Sectopod gets close enough, I can uh, I can use the chem grenade she's carrying. Overwatch. Yep. Let's reload here. Okay. Bring the gunner over here so that we can shred it, hopefully. Alright. Come on, Sectopod. Oh, AoE. Alright. Fair enough. Interesting that it's firing. Oh, there was a seeker providing visibility. I was gonna say, what what are you using for that? Alright, well we'll take care of this and then he'll have to come forward. No damage on selected target. Very sneaky. There we go. Wow. 87%, huh? Okay. Well. There we go. Reload complete. Overwatch. All the things. Here it comes. Hey there, big boy. Oh, not going to come any more forward. No, why would you? Okay, hold on. Can we... We can get up there. Get the Kim Grenade. Oh, we can get the Kim Grenade from here? Oh, okay. Well, that's what we'll be doing then. Hi. Mm-hmm. And then can we shred it? Yeah. Well, hold on. I don't want to miss that shred. So... We're going to move up. Yep, and take the overwatches. And I'm going to move... over... with Firefly. Yep, go ahead, do the other one. Good, good, good. Got a lot of heat on me. I know, you're okay, Josh. Go ahead and take that shot. Six damage, good. Reactive sensors, sure. Why not? Okay, now we can move our Valkyrie mech over to like right here. Because that thing's going to stay there next turn, or it should. I don't see it moving much. So let's fire here. We'll get hollow targeting up. Okay, now we can land a shred and that'll last us like four turns. We won't have to worry about it as much next. There we go. And now, so now, it's been debuffed and acid. Kind of like that. Alright, we're going to move Kerrigan up. I don't really like partial cover, but... I don't think it's going to fire at her. At least that's the bet that I'm taking. Eight damage, good. Ru 
No, nope, no damage. No, uh, no target. All right, set Overwatch. Now this should be pretty good. Eleven. All right, not bad. We'll take it. Now it should fire at Josh. Yeah. And I don't have to move anyone, so Overwatch shouldn't be a problem this turn. Oh, crap. Whew, missed. Okay, good. It is debuffed a little bit from the acid, so... Okay. We need to have him fire first because of the reactive sensors. And I want to get closer, but I don't want him debuffed by the acid. Uh, we're within four anyway, looks like. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like our shock absorbent armor is in effect, so. All right, fine, take the shot. The hell just blew up? Oh, the front of that truck, okay. Well, that could have been bad for us. Let's see. Yep, fire here. Good. And again. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, whittling this guy down. Good. And let's see. Should she she could suppress. Well, let's wait. We'll wait on her deal here. Oh, I am going to have to move. But I can move one square. That's fine. Like that. And I think we're actually going to hunker. Yeah. I don't, I don't need Kerrigan to get the kill, so we can hold off a bit here. This might do it, and it does. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty satisfying. Okay, now, are we hurt? Not really. Not much. Okay. Well, let's move over here. We're going to have to do a heal next turn, so. Might as well run over there. Get ready to do that. Yeah, Josh is repairing himself, so that's good. Okay, Kerrigan. Move up. So that should be it for things outside of the UFO. So it should just be the command pod. Two outsiders is what I'm expecting. Which means we'll end up with like sectoid commander and something else. <laughs> Game never gives me what I'm expecting. All the charms that are XCOM Long War. Actually, so far, this has been a pretty fun mission, I think. Okay, and you come over here and heal her. So we're headed this direction, so I figure I might as well heal and move on the way. Overwatch, and you reload. Okay. Josh, head over here. As one of my longtime subscribers and uh, advisor, Sooty has pointed out in the uh, comments a few times, one of the challenges of fighting, well, all of the aliens, but in particular, uh, mechanicals at this stage of the game, um, is because it took me so long to get to the point of doing the alien base assaults, they've benefited from research advancement because of those bases. So, which at this point, 
I'm doing everything I can do about that because I'm about to, you know, do the base assaults this month or start them. Uh, but he is right when he says that it would have been good if I could have started to, uh, you know, started doing the base assault sooner. No doubt about that. But I did not know the optimum anything when I started really, when I started this playthrough. And I was just looking at some of the files and it, I think I started this in last August, August of 2014. And it's now, yeah, August of 2014. And now it's February of 2015. <laughs> so for those of you that have been with me, uh, from the beginning, wow. Thank you for your dedicated viewership. I, I hope I'm not disappointing you. Try my best to keep things entertaining. Let's see, let's go ahead and... No, you know what? You can stay right back here. You don't need to go forward. Alright, we'll send Josh down. Yep, he can go trigger it. Mm-hmm, I do. Go say hi to them, Josh. Or not. Don't really want to go down there. What am I doing? I'm going down there with the engineer. Actually, it's okay, I think. We can just set up over here. Most of our people have decent range, so in terms of Polaris, and our sniper anyway, we'll set them up back here. Why don't you hang out? I guess you could just stay right there, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Steady weapon. Overwatch. Rhino. Move you over a little bit. Okay, and where do we want to put Kerrigan? Here? Yeah, we can always dash her to some full cover point if we need to. They're like right there, or are they outside? Sometimes they're outside the UFO, so... Let's see, we'll go see if we can't spot them with a blue move over here. Nope, alright. We're going inside. I'm on my way. Let's do it, Josh. There we go. Oh, just one outsider, huh? Alright. Well. Did not destroy his cover, doesn't look like. Didn't open up anything. All right. Well. Aye, aye, Commander. About an alien grenade right on top of you. Nothing else. It does a little bit of damage. Not much. All right. We got a shot here though, so go ahead and take it. Good hit. Now they are pretty dangerous because they have like sort of ridiculous aim. So I think we're just gonna dash back here since she doesn't have full cover available. And Headhunter's gonna step in here. Yeah, we're gonna be careful. There's just no reason for us to get overly aggressive. Yep, we'll bring our medic back here and hunker down. That's what armor is for. Yep, that's fine. That's what you should do. Take your second shot. Systems within acceptable parameters. Yep, now we're going to go around and get in this guy's face. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Like right there. That won't be able to do much damage to us. And let's go ahead and flame him. Hi. Should be able to flank him over here. Yep. Yeah. Let's take that shot. And that's a kill. Nice. A good little mission. We nailed it, Commander. We did indeed. I don't think anyone got wounded. Uh maybe we got some promotions? I don't remember seeing any. Yeah, we did! Nice! Two Master Sergeant promotions off of that. Well, that was cool. Okay, so for Firefly, that's Sentinel, Rapid Fire, or Squad Sight. I think I'm going to take Squad Sight, actually, even though I didn't build her optimally for that. Hmm. I mean, I, I took the tanky stuff on her, so in probably should give her rapid fire and make her like a an assault type mech. Hmm. All right, so we have a choice of Sentinel, rapid fire, or squad side. Let me know what you think, folks. Plus, this is a sponsored character, so you let me know what you think. <laughs> All right, we'll wait on that promotion then. And then, uh, let's see. Josh Carter. So that's Pack Master, Damage Control, or Vital Point Targeting. Now, this is not as clear cut a choice as it once was for me, because I really like Vital Point Targeting, and the plus damage does make a difference. Because it's base damage, right? So it gets amplified by crits and whatnot. So we've got Damage Control. All further damage will be reduced by one or two points, which is nice. Um... But if, I guess if you're in that bad of shape, I mean, I don't know. For me, it's a toss-up between these two. Damage control and vital point targeting. He is a tank, so I am leaning towards damage control, but I can see the value in getting vital point targeting. It, it is a really good perk, actually. It's one of the reasons why Jaeger makes her so good, because I get it right out the gate. Hmm. All right, I'm going to hold off on this promotion as well, so give me some feedback on this one. All right, so that went well. Considering what we were up against, I think it went exceedingly well. Let's see, we got some stuff to sell, or a thing to sell. Yep, some damaged flight computers and whatnot. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.